This video is about abrasive grit sizes and in this video I will explain what the meaning of these abrasive numbers are and uh, how to use this information uh, at work. Uh, abrasive, si abrasive grit sizes can be found on sandpapers and I've got a bunch of sandpapers on uh, grinding discs like uh, those number 24 there applies to and refers to uh, abrasive grit size the abrasive wheel is made out of it works uh, to some degree to filing and it works uh, and refers to uh, honing and polishing compounds as well so it's going to be a handheld shot I'm going to have to zoom out and uh, take the camera off the tripod because I can't really capture what I have here on the table for you just about there so I have a bunch of sandpaper here and I have rocks with me as well as well as a tape measure there and uh, let, me just, let me just get rid of the stuff that we're done with okay there so abrasives and abrasive manufacturing is really simple there really is nothing much to it. Abrasives, as the word or term sandpaper implies, is made of sand. You can see the grains of sand in this extremely coarse abrasive sitting on the surface. And uh, I put this tape measure next to it so you can have an estimate on uh, what size these are. And they average out about half a millimeter. So the reason why I have these second reason why I have these sandpapers here in a row is uh, because those grit numbers uh, as those grit numbers indicate not all sandpapers are created equal they come in different grades and that grade is indicated by most importantly the grit number I have here a bunch of rocks and uh, this represents what goes into an abrasive paper uh, or abrasive disc. These raw rocks, and I'm just putting my hand on it for uh, referencing its size in. This is just crushed rock, and crushed rock gets basically uh, sieved out and uh, and uh, graded so that all the particle sizes are fairly uniform. Crushed rock. It's important that the pieces be sharp. They just get uh, nicely and evenly spread out and glued on a sheet of paper and there you have a sheet of sandpaper so abrasive manufacturers just take crushed rock there's nothing else to it okay and they just glue it on a sheet of paper and as you can see there's big rocks smaller rocks even smaller sizes there you can see with my hand that uh, these rock sizes get smaller and smaller and I just really scooped up a shovel full of rock uh, along the river or so and you can see that the rocks in it are getting smaller and smaller and uh, we're down basically to coarse sand so what's sand made of uh, as in sandpaper well sand is made of rocks as you can see they are quite coarse this would be coarse sand but it's got smaller rocks in it as well I hand sorted and washed some of the rocks out of sand so uh, I had a little bit of a Cinderella time with uh, sorting rocks but uh, these rocks as I sorted and graded them perfectly represent uh, the grades of rock that goes into the sandpaper so in this uh, extremely coarse sandpaper you can see the grits clearly visible and uh, they have about the size of half a millimeter thereabouts just wait for the camera to focus there and then the next one the particles are smaller and ever smaller this is about a hundred grit we're down to 220 and it's pretty much uh, the individual sizes uh, cannot be made at anything under uh, grit size 220 just wait for the camera to focus thereabouts 
And uh, these grid sizes, as, as the, these go from 40 to 60, this one is 100. You can see these numbers are printed on the uh, sandpaper. This one is 600. These mean that as the numbers go up, and this one is 2,000, it's a little bit chewed up, but it's still 2,000 grit sandpaper. As you can see, as these numbers go up from 40, 80, 100, 220, 600, 1,000, and 2,000, so does the abrasive size, the abrasive uh, grit size decrease. So in this one, you got big grains of sand, and uh, towards that end of the room, you have ever smaller rocks in it. It's very similar to the concept what you have with files. This one is an 8-inch file, uh, maybe a 7-inch file, 6-inch, a 4-inch, and the needle file. And the teeth on the shortest file are the smallest as well. There you can see just my hand next to it. Those teeth on the file are really, really small. And uh, the files hand files don't have numbers but uh, other than its length but you can kinda compare the tooth size on uh, an 8 inch file to about that grade of sandpaper this one is gonna correspond to approximately 60 grit sandpaper 100 grit, uh, 120, 220 and uh, what the significance of these numbers is other than the bigger number means smaller sandpaper is two things first off if you're trying to work or and uh, make a piece of wood or a piece of metal really really smooth it uh, uh, it doesn't uh, work very well if you start with 120 sandpaper and finish with 120 sandpaper you gotta have to start with a coarse sandpaper because uh, how sandpapers work is uh, because it's got bigger size of coarse sharp rock in it, it uh, these rocks uh, tear uh, large pieces of uh, material out of uh, whatever you're sanding wood or metal and then the ever finer grades of uh, smaller sized rocks will tear out smaller and smaller chunks of wood and uh, or uh, or metal and we'll remove less and less so to arrive to a mirror finish it really it really uh, you should start with a coarse grade and work your way all the way through to the micro finishing grades to mirror to arrive to a mirror polish here at this end of the table I've got some samples of metal uh, this was done with 40 grits there, 40, 80, 100, uh, sorry, okay, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, there, 220, 320, 600, 1000, 2000. Now, uh, they don't much look different, but uh, they do differ in their surface finish, surface texture. Uh, out of the, the grooves in the 40 grit sandpaper are more pronounced and more visible than on a 320 sandpaper, uh, sorry, a 320 grit uh, surface finish, or at the end here it's a 2000 grit finish. And it's hard to film it because uh, and this is what I'm coming to because they reflect light differently. I'm gonna grab with my other hand a plastic cap here that's used in the class. Uh, when I put it on the metal you can see that uh, the 40 grit surface finish is not much of a mirror. The 80 grit is maybe marginally a little better than the 40 the 100 it has definitely some orange appearing the 120 is even better and you can see more detail of this uh, cap okay and as we go ever finer and finer grits you can see more of the ceiling and the neon lights up on the ceiling and and the better 
mirror image of this pen you can see there it's getting really close to mirror finish as I keep moving this cap down to the 2000 grit there we go the 2000 grit that's uh, that's pretty much a mirror finish on this 2000 grit uh, metal sample and uh, I have here a piece of metal and another piece of metal that uh, you can see different uh, uh, degrees of uh, refracting light you can see these machine marks on the surface on it this is how it came out of the factory and although I tried to remove some of it uh, this area here is a dish as the sandpaper really ran just along the edges and also here you can see my sanding marks on this plane blade it's hard to film it because it's highly polished and very reflective so on the other side as well you can see the machine marks that run this way and uh, that was a couple of droplets of water and you can see the machine marks running this way on it and uh, and on this chisel the bevel edge on the chisel there I'll put it there let's see if I can capture it there you can see my camera in it you can see my uh, lens in it there the top of the camera that's a mirror pe mirror polish on the bevel of the chisel and uh, other surfaces didn't get uh, that high degree polish they are just uh, I think I uh, did maybe a 320 sandpaper on it tops so that's how these abrasive numbers work the smaller the number the coarser the abrasive it is and uh, sorry about the noise and on this sheet of paper here I have the abrasive sizes here listed you can see grid size table uh, European designation and North American designation they are kind of close enough and this is the particle diameter in micrometers one micrometer is one millionth of a meter uh, or uh, five or one thousand micrometer is one millimeter so uh, on this 40 grit sandpaper that we looked at the particle size uh, appears to be about half a millimeter and if you find 40 grit sandpaper yep it's 0 0.4 millimeter size for uh, average particles and you can see that the particle size is dropping down as the sieve size is going up and the sieve sizes really have no reference to it to the particles actual physical size so there 1000 grit is about 10 microns or 10 micrometers and uh, again the finer the sandpaper the smaller the rocks in it that are glued up to make the sandpaper and the smaller chunks of rock will remove ever finer and finer amounts of material that's how these numbers work and uh, that's what these uh, sending uh, that, or abrasive grit numbers represent